Stomach ulcers, or sometimes known as peptic ulcers, are sores that develop in the lining of your stomach or the first part of your small intestine, called the duodenum. They can cause a lot of pain and discomfort, especially when your stomach is empty or when you eat spicy or acidic foods. Peptic ulcers can also bleed, which can lead to serious complications like anemia or infection. So what causes stomach ulcers? There are two main causes of peptic ulcers. The first cause is an infection with a bacterium called Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori. And the second cause is the regular use of certain pain relievers called nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. H. pylori is a common bacterium that can be spread from person to person through close contact, food, or water. When someone is infected with it, it lives in the mucus layer that protects your stomach and duodenum. Many people may have it without causing problems, but sometimes it can cause inflammation and damage to the lining, making it more vulnerable to acid erosion. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, on the other hand, are medications that reduce inflammation and pain, such as ibuprofen, naproxen, aspirin, and others. They can irritate or inflame the lining of your stomach and duodenum, especially if you take them for a long time or at high doses. Other factors that can increase your risk of developing peptic ulcers include smoking, drinking alcohol, stress, and having a family history of ulcers. Symptoms of Stomach Ulcers The most common symptom of a stomach ulcer is a burning pain in your upper abdomen that usually occurs between meals or at night. The pain can last from a few minutes to several hours and may be relieved by eating, drinking milk, or taking antacids. You may also experience feeling full or bloated after eating, having trouble digesting fatty foods, heartburn or acid reflux, nausea or vomiting, and having dark or bloody stools. You may also lose weight without trying. Some people with peptic ulcers may not have any symptoms at all, or they may have mild symptoms that they ignore. However, it is important to see your doctor if you have any signs of peptic ulcers, especially if they are severe or persistent as it can lead to serious complications, such as perforation of the ulcer, which can create a hole in your stomach or duodenum and allow bacteria to enter your abdominal cavity, causing a life-threatening infection called peritonitis, or it may cause bleeding from the ulcer, which can cause anemia. How are peptic ulcers diagnosed? When you see a doctor for diagnosis, your doctor may ask you about your medical history, perform a physical exam, and order some tests to, to confirm the presence of ulcers and their cause. Some of the tests that your doctor may use include, number one, laboratory tests for H. pylori. These tests can detect the bacterium in your blood, stool, or breath. The breath test is the most accurate one. It involves drinking or eating something that contains radioactive carbon and then blowing into a bag that measures the amount of carbon dioxide in your breath. If you have H. pylori infection, your breath will contain more radioactive carbon than normal. Number two, endoscopy. This is a procedure that allows your doctor to look inside your stomach and duodenum using a thin tube with a camera and a light called an endoscope that is inserted through your mouth and throat. Your doctor can see if there are any ulcers or signs of bleeding or infection. He or she can also take a small tissue sample called a biopsy from the ulcer for further analysis. Number three, upper gastrointestinal series. This is a series of x-rays that show images of your esophagus, stomach, and duodenum after you swallow a liquid that contains barium, which is a contrast agent that makes the organs more visible. This test can reveal the size and location of any ulcers. Before we continue, if you have been finding this video helpful, Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Now let's get back to the video. Treatment of peptic ulcers. The treatment for peptic ulcers depends on their cause and severity, but the main goals of treatment are to heal the ulcers, prevent them from coming back, and avoid any complications. So some of the treatments that your doctor may prescribe include, number one, Antibiotic medications to kill H. pylori. If you have H. pylori infection, 
You will need to take a combination of antibiotics for several weeks to eradicate the bacterium from your digestive tract. You may also need to take other medications to reduce acid production and protect the lining of your stomach and duodenum. Number two, medications to reduce acid production and heal the ulcer. These medications include proton pump inhibitors, such as Prilosec, Prevacid, and others, or histamine receptor blockers, such as Zantac or Pepsid. These medications can help relieve pain, heal the ulcer, and prevent it from bleeding or perforating. Number three, medications to protect the lining of your stomach and duodenum. These medications include Caraphate, which forms a protective coating over the ulcer, and Cytotec, which prevents ulcers caused by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs by increasing mucus and by carbonate production and reducing acid secretion. Number four, surgery. In rare cases, you may need surgery to treat peptic ulcers if they are very large, bleeding, perforated, or resistant to medication. Surgery may involve removing part of your stomach or duodenum, closing the ulcer with stitches, or cutting the nerve that controls acid secretion. In addition to taking medications as prescribed by your doctor, you can also make some lifestyle changes to help heal your peptic ulcers and prevent them from recurring. These include quitting smoking, limiting or avoiding alcohol if you drink, eating smaller and more frequent meals, and not eating late at night, and finally, eating a balanced diet that is low in fat and spicy foods and avoiding foods that trigger your symptoms. Now, what can you do to prevent peptic ulcers? The best way to prevent peptic ulcers is to avoid or limit the factors that can cause them or make them worse. Some of the things that you can do include, number one, avoiding or reducing the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. If you need to take them, use the lowest effective dose for the shortest possible time and take them with food or a glass of milk. You can also ask your doctor about alternative pain relievers that are less irritating. Number two, washing your hands regularly to avoid bacterial infections. Number three, Limiting alcohol consumption to no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. Number four, testing and treating H. pylori infection, if you have it or if you have a family history of it. At the end, a peptic ulcer is a treatable condition, but it should not be ignored or left untreated. If you have any symptoms of peptic ulcers, see your doctor as soon as possible. With proper diagnosis and treatment, you can successfully heal your ulcer and enjoy a healthy and pain-free life. So, did you have this condition before? Share your experiences with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching.